The beautiful nativity scene, Mary and Joseph next to baby Jesus in a stable, surrounded by cute animals and three wise men. Except that there probably wasn't three wise men there at the birth, nor even animals, nor was it necessarily in an outdoor stable. In fact, Mary and Joseph were most likely dark skinned and Jesus almost definitely wasn't born on December 25th. Wow, next you're going to say Santa's not real. Um... Hey everyone, Christmas is just around the corner, and while I don't want to ruin your childhood, I must say that much of what everyone thinks about Christmas is a myth. Of course, that's not to say that the whole thing was made up. Historically, there was an actual person called Jesus living in the first century, whose birth, life and death stood out in a way like never before. How do we know that? Well, we have countless documents that detail this, most notably in four chapters in the Bible known as The Gospels. A Bible talk, Ting Man? I guess this isn't going to be one of your fun videos. Well, if you mean that there's not going to be Rubik's Cubes in this video, then you're right, and you have full permission to leave. But I'd love for you to listen to what I have to say, and I also have a little gift for some of you at the end of this video. Don't skip ahead though, be patient. So when I was young, I used to think that classical music was boring. To be honest, I'm not sure I even knew what classical music even was, but that didn't matter. I knew it was boring. Then I did music at school and we had to study Symphony No. 40 in G minor by Mozart. And over the weeks, as I looked at the intricacies and the genius of the score, I went, wow, so this is classical music. You see, I'd made a judgment about it without ever actually having heard it. I remember a survey done in an Aussie university that showed that while 9 in 10 students had a clear opinion on who Jesus was, less than 1 in 10 had ever read even a fraction of one of the written accounts about Jesus. And that's why baby Jesus is always asleep on the hay with starlight on his face, smiling people all around. Is it their fault that they don't know the original story? Well, no, I mean, that involves opening a Bible and reading it. But the problem comes when, just like little me, I decide that classical music is boring without ever having heard it. There is no doubt that the Christmas story has changed the world. And if you're wondering why or how, you know, what's so special about that random baby in the Middle East, I have a challenge for you. This year, would you consider reading for yourself one of the stories about Jesus? Not a cool YouTube video about it or, you know, a Christmas carol, but the originals. I think you'll be surprised. My recommendation? Go for the chapter in the Bible called Luke. It starts with a Christmas story, and if you're up for it, keep going to the end of the chapter. You don't have to read the whole Bible, just that one chapter. If you don't have a Bible, you can find it online. Just literally Google Read Luke. But if you want a Bible, here's where my gift comes in. I would like to give 20 people a free copy of the Bible as my Christmas present to you. Well, it's actually a shorter version of the Bible containing only the second half, but the chapter of Luke is in there. Also, this probably goes without saying, but it'll be in English. There are two conditions though. One, some countries ban the import of Bibles, and if you know you're in one of those places, I hope you find the Bible through other ways, but I won't get you in trouble by mailing you one. Secondly, if you're under the age of 18, you'll have to get consent from a parent or guardian, as one of the things you'll obviously have to provide is a mailing address. So here's how it works. In the description is a link to a form, and basically the first 20 people who complete it and meet the conditions will get something in the mail from me. I'll keep the form open for three days until the 14th of December, so that you can hopefully receive it in time for Christmas. If not, by the next Christmas. I hope it's clear that I'm not forcing anyone to read this. I just think that at some point in your life, it makes sense to read the OG accounts of Jesus. If it's not true, you've got nothing to lose. You read a cool, well-loved story. But if it is true, it could change your life, like it did mine. And I would not have it any other way. Thanks so much if you made it to the end of this video. I hope 2019 ends well for you and that 2020 brings new joys and adventures that grow you as a person. Let me know if you end up reading Luke. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great Christmas. He is real, Dad.